welcome to Aging is by Eddie Singh and today we are going to explore one of the most burning topics that is misuse of science and technology. Children, science has been a marvel to mankind. In the modern age, science and technology have created a revolution in our life. They have brought about a significant change in our standard of living. They have given us all the luxuries of life. Undoubtedly, today the internet, the computer and other I mean gadgets have added feather to mankind. Mankind has been you know flying with the wings of science and technology. They are progressing by leaps and bounds. We are marching with progress in each and every walk of life. Undoubtedly, science and technology have been a boon to mankind. But at the same time, we are troubled by misuse of science and technology. Then you will ask the question, how science and technology have been misused by the people these days? Very, I mean, clearly I can say that these days there has been cases of misuse of technology. One obvious example is cyber crime. You are all aware of the, I mean, word cyber crime. What is cyber crime? The antisocial elements, the terrorists, and the people who do not want the world to be in peace, they are hacking the sites and are posting, you know, controversial statements on the social sites. Not only that, they are extracting information of our secret mission or our defense technology and they are transmitting it to the enemies to, I mean, create trouble to our country. So they have been using the social sites for creating trouble and dismantling the progress of the country. Therefore, we have to be very, I mean, vigilant. We have to be aware of the misuse of internets and computers. These days, some youngsters are misguided by the notion that they can do anything on social sites, they can make any information viral uh, through social sites and derive pleasure. This misconception among the youth has been dangerous to the nation. There have been several cases of riots, misunderstanding among people of different faiths and religion simply because some social sites have been posting, you know, uh, controversial statements and controversial uh, pictures of people and religious sites and that has, that has created confusion in the mind of the people. This has to be stopped either by, you know, enforcing law by the, uh, by the I mean, lawmakers or by the government, the defaulters must be taken into custody and should be given rigorous punishment for such acts. Secondly, we have seen that science has been doing a wonder in, I mean, upgrading our standard of living, right from cell phone to huge, I mean, technology, right from small gadgets to big machines there have been a significant change in our industrial growth, agricultural growth, and in our day-to-day -day happenings. But sometimes the people misuse technology for their selfish gain, and that becomes a real trouble. And that is the reason why we are too much, I mean, concerned about the growing misuse of technology. In the recent days, some antisocial elements are hacking the sites, and they are doing some harmful activities on social sites. So even internet is now being misused by some anti-social elements. Uh, regardless of the fact that science has been doing wonder in the field of medical science and in the field of, you know, industries. But at the same time, our youth are misusing this technology. For example, that they are using video conferencing just for talk. Is it really required? Not at all. I don't think it is required. Why should we waste our time and, I mean, energy for, I mean, con uh, conferencing uh, on video? What is the need of that? When we can send a message, when we can send an email, when we can talk 
I mean freely on cell phone, where is the need of uh, doing video conferencing or any kind of, I mean, uh, such thing? This is totally a misuse of technology. A telephoto device, which is well known to us, that at the time when you are talking on, I mean, cell phone, you can see the picture of the person who is responding to you. I don't think it is required because it is simply a misuse of technology and a vestige of time. Now, come to the second aspect of uh, misuse of technology. You see, the cell phone has been made and ha has been given to us just for transmitting information and interacting um, for some essential information. But instead of doing that, the youngsters sit and play games, video games on in, I mean, internet, on cell phones, and on all other technologies. They are using this technology for, I mean, wasting their time. They are mm, playing video games, and instead of studying and concentrating on this, their studies, they are, I mean, always crowding themselves at uh, their sites and, uh, I mean, social sites, and extracting information which are not at all required for them. Now, they are also getting interested in some of the, I mean, information which are basically uh, imaginary or rather fictitious, like talking about film, wasting time on some of the, I mean, videos which are not at all useful to them. They should use technology for in gathering information, for acquiring knowledge, for acquiring skill, uh, rather than, I mean, fun and frolic, because youth are the future of the nation. Every second that they spend on books, every second that they spend on, I mean, gathering information, knowledge, and skill, what a wonder in creating, I mean, a, a, an environment conducive to the growth of the economy of the country. They should always understand that they have to use technology for the betterment of the society. Science has given us all the information. Science has given us all the technologies to use it for improving the quality of life, for, I mean, creating awareness, for spreading education, for spreading knowledge, for interacting with people, for transmitting information regarding growth of agriculture, for transmitting information regarding tools of improving the quality of life, saving life, uh, a remedy of the diseases, not, I mean, spoiling and dismantling the progress of the nation. They should understand that all these things have the two faces at a, at, the, at a time when we can use a technology for the betterment of the society. At the same time, we can misuse for dismantling the growth and progress of the country. So we have to be aware that technology must not be misused at any cost. It should be used and only used. And for that, not only the government, the people also have to be aware of the demand of the society. We should be aware of the, I mean, some of these sites which are creating confusion in the mind of the youngsters. We have to be aware of some of the antisocial elements who are trying to derive pleasure by creating disturbance in the peace and prosperity of the nation. So therefore, we have to be very much vigilant, cautious and concerned about using technology. Then and then only, our country will be safe, our people will be safe and we can really progress without any hurdle, without any obstacle. And that is what I believe. Let science be a good servant, but never be a bad master. Remember, science is a good servant, but it is a bad master. If you are using it, it can give you wings to fly. But if you are misusing it, it can destroy, dismantle you. It can perish the entire peace and prosperity of the nation. So let's say... Let science be for the betterment of the society, for the progress of the nation, for the betterment of the world, and let us not use science for any sort of miscreant, any sort of misuse. Thank you very much.